Let us have a look at this question. Assume a production function with only two factors of production, labor and capital. Labor's share is given to you, 60%. So naturally, capital's share is going to be 40%. Also, the annual growth rates of capital and labor are given to you, 6% and 2%. How long will it take for the output to double? Pause the video, try to do it yourself, and then come back. So, y is equal to, let's say, kl is there. Mm -hmm. L to the power 1 minus alpha. Okay. y is equal to k. Labor's share is 60%, so capital's share is going to be 40%. I can write that as 0.4. This is what my production function is. I can take a log of both the sides. So first of all, you should know what is the growth rate of output. Then only you can tell how many years it will take the output to double. Point six log L. Please write take time log derivatives. Take time log derivative D log Y upon D T is equal to point four. d log k by dt plus 0.6 d log l by dt 1 upon y dy by dt is 0.4 1 upon k dk by dt I think in one of the question I have explained this now. So these are the time log derivatives. So log L's derivative is one upon L. And what is the what is L's derivative with respect to T? DL by DT. And I think I've told you <clears throat> this thing also dy by DT is the uh, y dot. That is the instantaneous change in y. And y dot by y is the growth rate in y. Be very clear about it. Huh? But uh, when I write y dot, maybe I have told this earlier, but let me just write this once more. When I write y dot, that is instantaneous change in y. Right? That is instantaneous change in y. So it's like y t minus y t minus. But if I'm going to divide y dot by y, that is the growth rate in y. I hope you're writing it alongside me. Growth rate in y. Divided by y t minus 1, like this. Right? So this is the growth rate in y. y dot by y is growth rate in y equal to 0.4 capital K dot by capital K. 0.6 capital L dot by capital L. But beta, you are given that the growth rates of capital and labor are 6% and 2%. So growth rate of capital is 6%. 0 0.06. Huh? Growth rate of labor is 2%. <clears throat> 0 0.02. So this thing will come out to be 0. Uh, 0 0.24. No, sorry, 0 0.024 plus 0 0.012. So this thing will come out to be 0 0.036. So this is Basically, your capital Y dot by capital Y is nothing but 3.6%. 3.6%. One thing is this. So now you know the growth rate of output. 
Now what they're asking you is to find out in how many years this output is going to double. There is something which is called rule of 70. Rule of 70. Right. So according to rule of 70, what happens is that if the output is growing at 3.6% 3, 3 per annum, then output is going to double in 70 by G years. That is 70 upon 3.6. I think uh, that will come out to be 19.44. Nineteen point four four years, right? Okay. There is one more uh, simple question, which is like this: the solo residual is a measure of what? Right. Solo residual is a measure of what? Uh, is it the measure of total factor productivity, labor productivity, uh, capital productivity, or physical capital stock? Pause the video. Write your own answer. But a solo residual is coming from, I mean, it is a measure of total factor productivity. Something, I mean, the growth rate and output, which cannot be explained by the growth and in inputs. What are your inputs? Labor capital. So one, your output can grow because the labor and capital are growing. And the other thing is that the output can also grow because the factors are becoming more productive. I will write one line. <clears throat> Please write this solo residual solo residual is a measure of economic is a measure of amount of economic output that cannot be explained by The inputs of labor and capital alone, right? So, beta, maybe you have your production function like this, right? So, one, your output can grow because capital is growing. Other, your output can grow because labor is growing. But your output can also grow because productivity is growing. So something, some increase in output, that increase in output, which cannot be explained by the growth of inputs alone. So historically, your inputs might grow. But something uh, apart from inputs can also change. For example, the productivity can also increase. So if you become more productive, then you can... A same person can do the job of three people, right? So inputs have not grown, but you yourself has become very productive. So that is what solo residual is. Uh, okay, let me ask you one question. What are the main differences between the solo model and the Harrod Dormer model? What is the main difference? Just one line. Uh, you can tell many difference, but what is the most important difference? Just one line. Tell me in comments, what is that very important difference between the solo model and Harrod Dogger model? Right. Okay. Thank you, but I hope you like this video.